welcome! I'm Bonnie from Bombu, and this is my very first YouTube video. So please bear with me. Um, yes, there's probably room for improvement, but so many people have been asking me to do longer videos, um, and so this is the only platform that I could possibly do it, and I thought, yeah, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. So I've taken some video footage of me creating this beautiful one and um, I did have some issues, I had to update my storage in the middle of it so some of the videos um, do appear to be cut short a little bit um, but I, hopefully I've got it all together so you can understand the, um, the process that was involved in creating this little beauty. So um, please enjoy and you're very welcome to subscribe. Um, and hopefully this will be the first of many. Okay, enjoy. I have this old dresser and I really wanted to give her a pretty makeover, but I'd already started to fix the veneer and sand the top before I knew I was going to video. And then I did some priming. I plan to do some paint blending and use this gorgeous iron orchid design transfer called Elysium. First though, I had to decide a placement for the transfer so I knew where I was doing my paint blending and it took a little bit of time but I finally got it. I'm using Mint by Michelle Mineral Paint Time and Space grey lead which is dark grey and the sound of rain which is a lovely light grey. This is where my phone played up so you don't see the total blend. At this stage I did realise that I couldn't move the drawers um, without putting the handle holes in so I just got my power drill and put the holes in now where the handle is going to be. So as you can see I'm working the colours light in the centre to dark on the outside and I'd already put the sound of rain on the centre. Um, so now I'm coming in with grey lead um, Just this is the first layer so I'm not really that fussy about the perfect blending but this paint really loves to blend so I'm really not having any trouble blending this first coat. So now I'm coming in with the Time and Space Black. It is so silky and smooth to work with. It must be one of my favorite non-colors. And look how easily, just with one brush, it just blends into that gray lead. So pleased with this already. I'm doing the same blend with the grey lead into the time and space black underneath, all the way around underneath. I usually tidy up all the drawers at the end, but with all that up and down blending brush strokes, I've accumulated some gluggy paint inside the, around the drawers. So I've decided to come in and just tidy it up now as I go. Otherwise, um, the paint is too hard to remove if it's gluggy once it's dry. I'm using the screwdriver to open the drawers in my drill holes.
The coverage of this paint just with the first coat is pretty amazing, but I will still definitely do a second coat. And I need to fix up the very light grey as that blending is not great. And I've actually decided to make it a little bit darker. So I've come in with the grey lead again over the top of what I did with the In The Rain. Um, but at, if you keep watching, you'll see that I do make it lighter um, by adding back some In The Rain. It's coming shortly. It's coming, yeah, look at those dog hairs. Yeah, take all those out. The fun of having dogs in your workspace constantly removing dog hairs. So here we come in, yep, I'm using a really soft brush for this. It's a really, it's a small brush with really um, soft bristles. And it just makes these smaller spaces that I'm blending so much easier. And here I'm coming in with the second coat of the grey lead into the time and space black. Just doing exactly the same brush strokes I was doing before. A lot of up and down blending together. They, these, these paints blend so easily together, you would not believe it. And I should mention I'm use, actually using Min by Michelle's small brush. Um, I don't like using the lot really really large full round brushes these ones really work fabulously with her paint So here she is, all finished with the painting, all the blending done, and it's looking great so far. Just needing a little bling now, we're gonna do some stenciling and then put the transfer on. I've decided to do this stenciling with um, a lacy style stencil that I have, and I'm using a gold paint, and I'm gonna put this stencil border all around the top and all around the bottom. I'm not really fussed how perfect it looks because a lot of it's going to be underneath the transfer. And anyway, my motto is imperfect is perfect. Now 
So now it's transfer time. And even though I decided a placement before, I will still make sure I've got it in the right place. I'll um, use the grids on the stencil to decide where I'm cutting it. And um, because it's always good to measure twice, count once, you know, and then here you'll see that I'm placing it in the middle and I'm just going to gently push it push it around the corner because there's a few bit there's a few shapes I've got to um, go around here a few curvy bits and if you do it gently your your stencil won't crack So I've got it in place and most of it is sticking. Um, so I'm taking a really sharp craft blade now to slice around the drawers. It just takes a bit of tension off because there's so many curves, it's not a perfectly flat surface. And it just takes some of that tension off so it doesn't affect the, the design or make the design crack or anything. So I'm using the plastic tool that comes with the pack to gently rub the um, design onto the painted surface. And then I cut away the um, excess plastic because if there's too much plastic there, that can create a drag on your design. So as I'm going, I just cut it away and it just makes it easier to apply.
I'm coming in with the other side now and in this design pack because they come in sheets now um, they do join up really nicely so it's just a matter of um, cutting away bits that you don't really need and lining it all up and joining um, the, the um, edges from the previous piece. I used the same technique to apply the rest of the transfer to the, uh, um, the, the drawers, but my phone played up, so sorry, you don't get to see it. Um, but it was the same as the top part. Then I go around all the drawers and inside the drawers using fine sandpaper um, and make sure all the edges are flushed down. And because you can kind of see inside the drawer when the drawers are closed. I just make the um, the edges tidy. And if you get any paint on the transfer, it wipes off really easily. So this just makes it look really tidy and finish nicely.
Here I'm using gold gilding wax on the balls of the claw feet. Gives them a little bit of a bling. I like to use gilding wax over gold leaf. It's easy to apply and it's so much less messy. Uh, and you get the same effect, I think. Personally, I love using Annie Sloan Dark Wax on natural timber. It really enhances the grain and adds a layer of protection. Here she is all finished and I am so happy. Look at how that paint is just silky smooth. It has a natural built-in top coat and it has these self-leveling powers so you cannot see any brush strokes and that timber top oh my god it is gorgeous and i love how the transfer just pops against that dark background and the gold stenciling just adds that little bit of class and elegance she is exactly how i wanted her to be i'm so happy I really hope you've enjoyed this makeover. I would love if you could subscribe and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram.